kids. Welcome back. I hope you were able to see our lesson last Sunday, and I'm so glad that you're able to join me today. Well, look what we have here. Sloppy is sitting here reading or holding our Bible. Thank you, Sloppy. This is perfect. We're getting ready to have circle time. Would you like to join me? Come have a seat around the carpet. I got a, I got a really good lesson to teach you today from our Bible. I can't wait. Okay, everybody gather around. Let's sit down together. Are you ready? Okay, before we get started, Sloppy, what are we supposed to do? Where's your goggles? I have mine. Okay, with my eyes on my teacher. Can you see me? My mouth as quiet as can be. I listen to hear how God loves you and me. Great, now put your hands in your laps and let's get ready for what we have to learn today. So I'm gonna get the Bible from Sloppy. Thank you so much for holding it for me, Sloppy. Now today, the story we're gonna read is called Jesus and the Children. Last week, we, were, we learned about the lost sheep. Today, we're going to learn about Jesus and the children. And I don't know if you can see that very good, but that's the picture. And it's a picture of Jesus and all the children surrounding him. It's very cool. I couldn't imagine being around Jesus when he was here. That would have been so awesome, right? Okay, so let's start now. It says the children love to spend time with Jesus. Aww. But the disciples didn't understand. They said, stop. What? Why would they say stop? That doesn't make any sense to me. Do not bother Jesus. He is too busy. Oh my goodness. Does anybody ever tell you stop? Don't bother me? Because they're too busy? Mm. Well, that... This story is going to teach us a lesson about that. Jesus told the disciples, let the children come to me. Do not keep them away. You must become like these little children if you want to enter God's kingdom. Wow. Jesus must really think a lot about children, huh? It sounds to me like Jesus really loved the children. And it sounds like he wanted to be with the children, didn't it? Look at this picture of Jesus. He's sitting there with the children and they're loving the time together. And he says, then Jesus blessed the children. What does this tell you? What does this tell you about how much Jesus loves you? This tells me that Jesus really, really loves the children. He loves you. And he loves me too. But he really does love the children. And if you're a kid, then that means you. So I want to ask you something. Let's, let's look at something and I just want to see what you think. Is there anybody in your life that you think is too, too little for Jesus to love? Is a baby too small? Is a baby smart enough? Is a kid like your age too little? I don't think anybody is too little. I think that Jesus loves you from the day that you're born all the way until you get to go to heaven with him. And he's going to love you forever and ever and ever. Something that this Bible story teaches me is it said, when you want, if you want to go to heaven, you need to be like the children. And what I think about is as a child, you love your mom and dad, right? And you trust your mom and dad. And Jesus wants you, and he wants me, and he wants your mom, and he wants your dad, and he wants all of his children to trust him too. And so when he tells us to be more like you, more like children, he wants us to trust him the same way that you trust your mom and dad. 
And so you just remember, when you're thinking about Jesus and how much he loves you, just remember that he cares about you every day, but he loves you and he wants you to trust him and he wants you to have faith in him. And so I just am thankful to be able to share this, this story with you today. And also, I wanna show you, I have a picture that I made and Fluffy's holding it for me. And you can get this from your mom or dad or your sister or brother and color it for them. And this is a picture of Jesus and the children. Just like the Bible taught us, let the children come to me. And I hope you have fun today with your family. I hope you get to color pictures and have a great time. And I hope you're enjoying this time together. And I'm just grateful and I hope I get to see you again next week.